We're in this season, you guys, basically rebuilding at the O-line. You've kind of taken that spot at center. Coach Kelly said it isn't yours per se, but you've stood out kind of. What are your goals going into spring? Uh, my the goals spring? coming into spring and for the end of spring, um, uh, I just want to work hard every day and, you know, lock down the center job. Really, that's, that's my main focus this year right now. Um, but as far as depth chart, like Coach Kelly and Coach Davis say every day, it's extra sin. So I got to go out there every day and prove to Coach Kelly and Coach Davis so that I can play this position and I can have this job and this will be my, this will be my job. Charles, the biggest adjustment playing center is just, you've just got so much more to worry about, you know, checks, snapping it, make sure it's good. Is that the biggest adjustment that you've had to deal with? Um, not really. I mean, mentally, the mental aspect of the game has n never been hard for me to pick up. Um, as far as, you know, snapping and, and getting everything down and, and the calls, like you said, it, 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 it is hard sometimes. But at the end of the day, like, you got to have faith in your teammates as well that they know what to do and that they, they know the right things to do as well. So, Coach, you're kind of talking about the learning, learning curve and going through two minutes drill and just being up the line. How fast do you feel like you're picking this thing up? Uh, I feel like I'm picking them up very well. Um, there's some things I got to work on, of course. Um, like, you know, when, when the, when the um, QB changes the call, I got to, you know, lock in and, and make sure I'm getting that call resorted all the way back down the line for that way we can all work as one unit. Um, but, yeah, I feel like the transition to minute and speeding things up has been going well for me. What do you feel like are some of the biggest changes or areas of progress you've seen from yourself the past couple of years, whether body-wise, approach, technique, any, any of that stuff that stands out that you're most proud of? Um, definitely physical development. Um, I've gotten a lot stronger and I've gained a lot more weight over the past couple of years. Um, about two years ago, when I was at 295, 290, it, I felt like it was a bit more sloppy and it was bad on my knees a little bit. This year, I kind of focused more on toning my body and instead of just eating everything I could eat, you know, focus on eating, getting healthier, eating habits, toning my body for that way. I can be out there looking my best and performing my best. What have you learned from Brad Davis so far? Um, the most, the biggest thing I think I've learned from Coach Davis, and it's not even football, it's just about life. Like um, having emotional maturity. You know, when things go bad, um, don't. He always preaches us, don't make make a negative thing worse. Like you got to pick up your teammates. You got to pick yourself up first and foremost, and you got to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Just because you have a bad play. You can't let that affect everything that's going on. Or maybe you have a bad day. You can't let that affect anything that's going on because that's how life works. Talk about, to keep moving. talk about Fitzgerald West. Well, I, I, what's, how's he coming along? Fitzgerald West is coming along good. Um, that's my young guy. I love Fitzgerald West. I love Medef. Um He's a good player. Uh, everybody knows he played defense in high school. And the transition over to center can be very hard for a kid like him, but he's, he's doing very well. He's a big character, too. You have any good yeah, Fitz yeah, stories yeah. early on so no, far? No, me and Fitz, we laugh around and joke around a lot, but at the end of the day, it's strictly Fitz and stuff. How, how versatile is this offensive line? I mean, Coach was talking about, I know you did it last year, but last year a lot of guys were forced to do it, but now it seems like guys are able to do it, play multiple positions on that line. I feel like that helps us tremendously because at the end of the day, like, it's the SEC West. Like, we bang, hit heads every day, so one man could go down and another man could step in and then that man, the man that he's stepping in for might be a tackle and he might have to play guard or he might be a guard and might have to play tackle or he'd be a center and might have to go out there and play tackle as well too. So it's like the versatility factor, I feel like it'll help us, help us a lot um, coming in this forward this season. Brian Kelly is known for having strong O-lines. When he got the job, what's going through your head? Oh, when uh, Coach BK got the job, I just thought, yeah, it's time to turn it up. <laughs> he gonna make sure he gonna get this get this straight for sure. Cause I know his track record at Notre Dame, some of the best O lines in the country year in and year out. So I feel like the main emphasis for him was to come and help us get better and, and um, help us have a strong unit, stronger unit. Chemistry is important between the center and the quarterback. Any guys, any one particular QB that you kind of have a better connection with? Um, not really, to be honest. I mean, I feel like I have a good connection with every single QB on our roster. Like, I'm the type of guy, I'm laughy, funny, play around, love a joke. But at the end of the day, like, business is business. So when I lock in, I really lock in. So 
all the QBs know that I'm pretty much What have you seen from Will Campbell so far, and how big can he be for that unit if he emerges the way he looks like he might? Uh, Will Campbell, he's been doing tremendous. Uh, coming as a freshman, you don't see very many freshmen like him. Uh, he's very, very physically, physically ready to play the game. Um, there are things that he has to work on. There are things that everybody has to work on. But at the end of the day, I feel like he can help us, help us a lot this year.